people hear about big data and think, how can we use this for official statistics, for uh, better monitoring of financial systems, and they think that's about the future, but it's about the now. Starting January the 1st, 2015, we will provide all our online data free of charge to everyone. Very large institutions like the IMF um, showing huge leadership and stepping forward and doing this. Will the data be useful? Absolutely. But in doing so, it will also change the IMF. Many Asian countries still think IMF is a more closed group, but by revealing all our data to them so that they can actually test and also check our result and then communicate with us, I think we can greatly enhance our reputations in the region. It's important because it raises awareness of the need for better and more high quality data and as I think was discussed in the forum, for using uh, more efficiently and, uh, and more broadly. For us, uh, it's a high priority in our accountability framework in the African department uh, to support better macroeconomic statistics. So for me, it was just a, a pleasure to have the opportunity to learn from the experts about uh, some of the issues around that. Once in a while it's very good to uh, let people know of the role of statistics and the importance of statistics. And in particular, linking the fact that statistics are essential to provide the relevant information for making good decisions. I think we've realized that the financial system is at the center of things, that the financial system is an awfully complicated beast, and that we need to understand it very well, which means much more in the way of data than we had before the crisis. Let me emphasize that there is no other event like this. So in, in the conference room we have officials from many uh, statistical agencies around the world. We also have uh, people like me who are academic researchers and also uh, other types of researchers from uh, Federal Reserve, from the IMF and so on. And uh, it is uh, amazing how few opportunities there are to, to discuss across these groups. I think the main takeaway is that we still have to work harder in getting granular data and to put them in the framework that have been established by the academic community and the policymaker. In the next conference, we'll continue to focus on a general statistical work, so what are improvements in the in the next 12 months. We'll focus on a few key issues we'll pump out in the next 12 months, but we'll also, in agenda with this conference, we'll have a hand-on-hand -hand peer review process and a workshop for the delegates, since you are here in the building already. Well, I think what I would like to see is that we identify a few areas where we all agree that there is a need for urgent uh, collective effort, and then we focus our effort into those areas so that a year from now we can say that we're not just raising awareness again, but we also have something to show in terms of progress in the areas that we've identified this time around as being priorities. Well, I'd say we're looking forward to a couple of things. One is that we've made more progress in uh, improving the quality and scope of financial data, and other data for that matter. Um, second is that uh, on a global basis, that we have collaborative efforts to understand um, you know, how we can better use our data across borders, because financial activity is global, institutions uh, that engage in it uh, are global, uh, and so to understand some of those uh, cross-border issues is really important.